The bishop held a news conference today, one day after retired auxiliary bishop Robert Morneau admitted he didn't do enough to report an incident of clergy abuse and will remove himself from public ministry. Local Farms Justin Razavi is live at the diocese headquarters in Alloway with details of what was said today. Justin. Good Friday evening, Aaron. Bishop Rickon says that Bishop Morneau recently requested a special meeting with him. And during that meeting, he told him that back in 1979, he failed to report an incident of clergy abuse. The priest involved in that incident, David Boyer, would then go on to abuse other children. Now, today's news conference, Rickon said that Morneau told him at the time he arranged for Boyer to meet with the family and the child and apologize directly to them. And Morneau had thought that that was sufficient to solve the problem. But then Boyer would go on to be arrested and put on trial in 1986 for abusing three other children and would ultimately serve 10 years in prison. Morneau, who is 80 years old, says he now realizes he should have done more to prevent Boyer from abusing other children. Today, Rickon also said that he's met with church members and many of them are hurt and angry by the news. I'd say it's, it's hurt the faith of the people and their trust, and we have to build that trust back up. It's just all there is to it. And uh, so it's going to take time. It's going to take consistent effort. Uh, I, the thing I heard was they feel shamed, not because they did anything, but they feel hurt and they feel the lack of trust and they feel angry. Some of them are very angry. Now, Rickon has released seven action steps to accountability for the church. That includes providing ways for victims of sexual abuse to come forward more easily, as well as making priest files uh, available for review by an independent board. That full list is on our website, wearegreenbay.com. Live in Alloway, Justin Rosavi, Local 5 News.